Hello, I'm your host, Amber Lynn Carroll. Thank you for joining me on this episode of MedWatch Today. Nearly 42% of adults in the U.S. live with obesity, and while this chronic disease can lead to other health issues, the bariatric program at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital provides hope to patients battling obesity right here in the Valley. We sat down with a Valley couple, Amy and Armando Aragon, who explained how living with obesity affected more than just their weight. The quality of life was pretty low. You're pretty much confined to staying home a lot and worried about like every chair that you're going to sit in that you're going to break it. The comments, the looks, the mental state that you're constantly in, it really takes a toll on you uh, mentally, physically as well and then it just leads into the depression state. The Aragons underwent bariatric surgery in 2017. I would go to theme parks and I would sit on the rides and then I would get do have to do the walk of shame and get off. You know, they would try to, like two or three, you know, cast members or, or employees would try to push down on the seatbelt and then I'd have to get up and walk out. And it was, it was really humiliating. Amy underwent a gastric bypass with Dr. Kelvin Higa, medical director of the bariatric and metabolic surgery program at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital. Amy had a little more than just reflux. She also had metabolic syndrome. She had diabetes, high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, she had steatosis of the liver. All in all, uh, you can attack all of these problems individually with medications or with some operations, or you can go to the ground level and attack the problem of the metabolic syndrome and really solve everything at once. I mean, I got to the point where I was wearing 6X clothes and it was to the point where you're not gonna be able to wear jeans anymore. You're gonna have to start wearing sweats. Dr. Higa took a different approach with Armando surgery. Different individuals, what their medical problems are today. And it's also important to look at down the road, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, uh, and we go into the family history before we decide what kind of therapy we're going to advise. Uh, his weight was more on the extreme. His BMI was 71. He was uh, over 400 pounds. So with Armando, we thought uh, the sleeve gastrectomy would be the best option. That got him down about 150 pounds or so, and then we topped off and we still needed to go another 50, 100 pounds, so we decided to stage him onto a duodenal switch operation. Uh, but what we found was that his intestinal anatomy was not quite normal. So we were, because we're doing everything laparoscopically, minimally invasively, we could back off and, and then reevaluate. And we came back later on, and then instead of doing a bypass, we re-sleeved and we redid his stomach. Dr. Higa explains surgeries like this are crucial to granting people in the valley a higher quality of life. It's our obligation to take care of patients, to take care of the patients that really are turned down by other centers because they're too high risk or they simply don't have an option. On the average, we can increase someone's life by nine years, nearly a decade. There are very few surgical procedures that you can actually say you can increase someone's life. Because of advanced care like this at Community, couples like Amy and Armando have gained a new lease on life. One of the main goals, too, that we're, we've been talking about is we, we're going to definitely try to fly overseas. Before, he wouldn't even get out of the car when we were at the ocean because he couldn't walk very far. And now mm -hmm. we went to Disneyland the other day and we had uh, 12 miles in one day. Amy and Armando hope to encourage people through their story and bring awareness to others that might be struggling. The weight off your joints, the freedom, the, you know, freedom from all the medication. You are happy to go out and socialize and not be afraid that people are going to look at you and judge you. There's an intrinsic bias to the individuals of science. We label them, we degrade them, we make fun of them, and yet most of us have a weight problem, but the weight is just a symptom of the disease. To uh, take an individual size and, and treat them, you know, with less respect. And that I think we have to stop that. 